Hello everyone, I am a Paul Blood and in this video we will look how we can add the slow motion effect in this video and it has a slow motion effect and we have also a slider bar down here so which can control for how much time you can slow motion like if the bar get exhausted so it is not slow motion so without any wastage now let's start okay now we are in the unity project and to add the slow motion effect for so i am going to start with the slider this is optional you can add it on without your own needs so first thing add a slider and customize add it as your own needs so first thing you look here i set the default value to zero first and left to right and you can look here okay and have background to start customize my own needs okay after this go to your player and and attach the slow motion script to it now create a new script and attach the slow motion after adding this open this open this slow motion script and then the first thing you're going to write down is slow time scale now this is optional this time you're going to control how much slow motion effect you want make sure the value rises between 0 to 0 to 1 and this is going to be a float okay and this is going to be a float this is coming then we need a replacement slider okay so if we cannot access the slider directly so first we need to add this line using unity engine dot ui to access the ui steps then after this you can add the max value what is the max value of the slider going to be and the current value so i'm making the public for the experiment purpose but i'm not going to require this you can make all the floor but for checking purpose what is the current value i will make it public but after when you're done go to deploy the game just make it private or remove the public after the this we in the white update function you look we first we need to set, utilize the max value of the slider so was the sliders it means the gd slider has the we need to give the max value okay so we give the max value is going to be equal to the our this max value then also we need to make the current value to max equal to the max value now as, as a game start current value and max value should be equal then we also make the the value the, the value is going max value is going to the max the highest value can be the slider but what is the current value of the slider is going to equal to the current value i mean this value what value can this be the by default is going to be zero but as so we need to assign this as a game starts so first thing we give the current value for example max value 100 so it's become max Sliders value max become 100, then current value also become 100, and then current the, the value of the current value is going to be minus sorry, 100. So elegant equal everything. Now in the while update function, we also need to update the value of the slider in every frame. So we once again we write this line. So down here, if you look here, we have a first if condition. Now it's going to check the what what if the button pressed or not. So I want you to slow, become slow motion when I press a button. So for so in this game, when I press them, when I press the right mouse button, so it's going to do slow motion. And we also need to check the current value is greater than zero. This means we just know our part does not get as constant. So then, if the both conditions become true, then we make a time to time scale. This is an inbuilt feature function of the Unity, and we just equal the time to time scales. Okay, make sure this time scales and this time scale are both different you look here there is a small under underscore here if you look i'm going and if you're going to look here small underscore make sure do not write same as okay when i look at here okay so okay so time to time scale is in this function now time to scale has like if for example if the value is one the one value is equal to the normal 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 speed okay and if you increase the value for example 2 so 2x of normal speed okay so and if you decrease the speed like 0 0.5 or 0 0.1 is going to decrease the you know or slim slow slow down slow we get slow speed simply okay then also we need to decrease the value of the current value because we need to know how much how longer i can do the slow motion to decrease so i am going to give like 50 
and then multiply time to delta time. So why is it decreasing by 50? Okay, so if we look here, if we look here, so it's all costed in two seconds. But in game, it does not going to happen because we already just decrease the time here. So our 50, our value also decreases slowly, slowly. Okay, so I increase the value by 50. Okay, and and also multiply by time to delta time. Get yes. so. Then if our then we did and if what if our both condition is true so we then we make to the time scales is mean our we are does not using the we are not doing a slow motion so we make sure our time scale go back to the normal so that in this case our one x okay and then we are also going to start a core routine now here if you look I have a one a core routine calling this fill slider function this is I numerator function and the Good thing about I numerator function mostly used to hold the script for the x amount of seconds or x amount of frame or that thing. Okay, so in this function, I'm going to fill the slider. Like if I do slow motion, then I leave the mouse button and the slider should be filled after some seconds. So after this, so I'm going to call this function. Calling this function is by using start coroutine. We could call call this function by using coroutine. Then here I'm going to check a value. X current value goes to max value. Like our current value is 50 and max value is 100, so it's less. So we need to fill the bar to the max value. So we, so first thing I'm going to do this. First thing I'm going to wait for some seconds, like some seconds, so for filling. So I'm in this case I call yield written new wait for second to us. So it's going to wait two seconds for me and then started filling this bar. Okay. So our then current value started in filling with 5 right now. The, here the speed is normal. When the bar going to fill, note the speed is going to be normal. So it's going to every every second is going to its value increase by 5. Okay. Then uh, and it's going to actually work. And now if um, and also if you look here, I have one more condition. Now as I notice that the, when I'm playing the game, as I notice the current value goes negative now to force the value to, to be, have zero so I make current so if the value go less than or equal to zero so I force the current values value to have zero so it does not allow him to go negative just zero and negative. and also here now if and also there's small bug happening here that when the slider fail so sometimes slider fail above the hundred like 101 and 110 the value goes this time so what I'm, I'm going to just check the if current value like current value become 110 and max value is still 100 so I'm going to force the current value to become is value going to be equal to the max value it's mean it's 110 so it's become one and complete 100 and this is all you need to do it's very simple thing and simple and conditions and after doing all that you can save the script and back to the unity and if you go back to your script and you take time, time scale now time scale is 0.2 seconds you can also increase decrease it depending on then give the slider value and give a max value and just note don't assign any kind value and just and just look at the current value now okay okay first one Now, as you look, current current value become hundred. Now, if I'm going, as then I'm going to keep, hold right click, current value going to become decreasing after some time. If I leave after two second, wait for two second, and look, it's all starting increasing the bar. And let's wait till hundred seconds, and look, it's fill out completely. Now, let's check this with this body. Now, currently, I have a. This is have character control, so everything working very smooth. And now, but if I test with the cube, get a 3D cube and a rigid body and give a rigid body to him. And now, if I play this game, let him fall down. Okay, now it's falling down. And if I suit him, sorry, if I push him, look, it's get some jitteriness in his motion. Now, to fix. Sorry. Now if you see, and if you look it, it gets some jitterness in the motion while in the slow motion. 
Now to fix it, we just go to the interpolate of the rigid body and set to inter interpolate. Now after doing this, I found very smooth movement of the rigid body while the slow motion. Now let's do sub, sub click him and the slow motion. Look, it's very completely smooth out there. So that's it for this video. I hope you like this video and thanks for watching.